Hello everyone so now we are going to discuss one more troubleshooting lab i hope you remember we are doing one troubleshooting playlist okay in that one we discuss one ticket and we solve that issue okay troubleshooting lab 1 we already finish this is a troubleshooting lab 2 first lab we done in the evng now we are going to do in one packet tracer so in this video i am going to give you overview and you can whatsapp us we are going to give you this topology packet tracer file try to solve that one if you can solve if not we are going to solve for you okay in our next class we are going to do solution for this one but now i will give you overview what we need to do how we we need to do what we will we will issue we will have we are going to discuss now after that you have one week time try to figure out how you can fix whatsapp us our team is going to give you the file try to solve this issue if you cannot let us know we are going to help you okay so let me read what is the uh, here what is the what we can say what we need to do here first of all if you see here we have pc1 pc2 pc4 are in the subnet 192.168.1.0 Slash twenty four and VLAN ten. This belongs to VLAN ten. Okay. Let me make zoom so you can easily read. I hope you can see now clearly. Okay. See here what I am saying. I have PC one, PC two, PC three are in the subnet one ninety two one sixty eight one dot zero slash twenty four and this belongs to VLAN ten. Okay. Where you have PC one? If you see this is a PC one, this is a PC two, PC three. PC four, so PC three are in different subnet. If you see, this is a PC three is in different subnet, and that belongs to VLAN twenty. All PCs are configured with the IP address as PC one given as a one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one. PC two is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot two. PC three is one ninety two one sixty eight two dot three. PC four as one ninety two one sixty eight one dot four. Okay, so this one they give this color green color is using for VLAN ten and the sky blue color we are using for vlan 20 now let's see what we need to do what your manager assign you the task if you see switch 3 work as a default gateway for the host if you see this is a switch 3 so this one is working as a default gateway okay switch 3 is working as a default gateway so this is a switch 3 now let's see what they mention here ticket in the ticket what problem we have pc1 cannot communicate with the pc2 and pc4 this pc this is a pc1 he cannot communicate with pc2 and pc4 he should communicate because they are in the same vlan they have the same subnet but they are not communicating so we need to check and we need to troubleshoot this one after that pc2 cannot communicate with pc4 so you have the pc2 this is a pc2 he is unable to communicate with pc4 again we need to do the troubleshooting of this one also uh, after that we have the pc3 cannot communicate with any pc so this is the pc3 right this guy is unable to communicate with any other pc so we need to check why he is not able to communicate and they give some condition they told while solving this do not change anything in the switch 2 you are allowed to use only show command in the switch 2 so very switch to if you see this is a switch one this is a switch two so in this switch you should not change anything you are not allowed to change anything only you can run the show command to check that one okay so this is a overview this is a overview of this one okay let me remove the zoom so what i am saying they give you overview about the ip as well as the configuration like which vlan and whatever ip schema they give you everything here and they have the three trouble we need to do this we need to solve this issue we have three issue so first one pc1 so this guy is unable to communicate with 2 and 4 so we can test now okay anyhow in our next class we are going to do in detail but now i will show you they told pc1 cannot communicate with pc2 and pc4 so this is a pc2 pc2 ip is 192.168.1.2 PC4 IP 192.168.1.4. 1 so we need to ping from PC1 and check I can ping 1.2 and 1.4 or not. So let me go to the CM CMD of this machine. Okay, and I am going to put the ping command. Okay, let me ping 
I will write 192.168.1.2, right? 1.2, that is PC to IP. Let's see it is working or not. Request timeout. Okay. So the first one, they cannot communicate PC2 and PC4. So we need to check this IP also. This is a PC2 IP. It is not working. Anyhow, we will check all packet. It is not working. Okay. So this is not working. Let's go for the second. P check the PC4. PC4 IP is 192.168.1.4. .1 okay. This will also not work. Anyhow, let's see it is working or not. I hope it will not work. Check and you need to solve this issue. It is not working. So we verify the first thing is not working. We need to fix this one. Okay. Let's see PC2 can communicate with PC4 or not. So this PC we need to log into this PC and put the IP of this one. We need to ping this IP. Let's do that one and verify that also what I will do. I will close this and now I will log into the PC2. This is a PC2. I will go in the CMD command prompt of the PC2 and now I will ping. I will ping the PC4. So what is the IP 192.168.1.4. Okay, this is a IP for PC4. Okay, so this one also not working. I hope it is not working because your manager assigned you this task. We have issue. That's why they, uh, they give you ticket. They open the ticket to fix that one. But before fixing, just I am verifying. Okay. So it is not working. So this one we need to do this one. And now let's see PC3 cannot communicate with any PC. So let's go to PC3 and try to ping all other PC. So this is a PC3. I will go in the CM CMD of this PC3. And let me ping all other PC. Ping 192.168.1.1. This is a PC1 IP. Okay, this one. And this is a 1.2 PC2 and PC4. So PC1 is not working. After that, we will ping the PC2, PC4. Let's see. Not working. PC1 is not working. Okay. Let's go for PC2. Okay, so let me go. Yeah, PC2 is 1.2. Okay, so PC2 is 1.2. Let's see it will work or not. I hope it will not work. Yeah, it is not working. Maybe there is some issue inside the switch. So we need to check and do the troubleshooting. Now let me cross check with the PC4 also. Because they told PC3 cannot communicate with any PC. So PC1, PC2 finished. Now we need to check the PC4. So IP for PC4 is 1.4. Let's see it will work or not. If it is not working, then we need to log into the switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and check the trunk or which uh, trunk protocol is enabled, VLAN is there or not. All that one we need to check. Okay. So it is not working. So whatever they mention, we have, we have checked. We just now we check that one. Whatever you have the issue, whatever issue your manager told you, we check that one and we have the idea about this one. In our next class, what we are going to do, we are going to log into this switch and we are going to check the configuration of this switch and also log into this switch and checking the configuration here, also checking the configuration. We can modify here, we can modify here, but we cannot modify here. Only we can run show command to check this one. Okay. To fix the issue, we need to uh, log in to switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and check the configuration. So in our next class, we are going to do this troubleshooting lab. Okay. Thank you. Bye.